Karate Payet, as we know, is the oldest martial art of the world. Even though it is a it is a discipline, Karate Payet essentially is a form of warfare. My name is Prasad, S.R.D. Prasad, that is Sri Raj Devi Prasad. So I am presently uh, the guru of uh, Sri Bharat Kaladi. Sri Bharat Kaladi was uh, founded by my father, the late uh, Charakal T. Sridharan Nair, in 1948. Kaladi Payatu, in short, is the defensive art of Kerala. It is Kerala's own martial tradition. Uh, it uh, traveled abroad and influenced uh, even other martial art forms and uh, emerged as new martial art forms elsewhere. That is how karate, kung fu and the original form jujutsu spread in China and uh, Far East. Talking about the, the whole structure of Kalari Payat, it is uh, done inside a Kalari. Kalari is also specially made. Uh, the top soil is removed to a depth of maybe three to four feet. And in one corner, there will be a presiding deity where we call Putara. And uh, there is another place known as Guruttara, uh, which is uh, dedicated to the preceptors of Kalari Payat. The, the practice of Kalari Payat is also divided into four parts. First is the May Payat in Malayalam. May Payat means body conditioning exercises. So the maximum or exaggerated use of all the joints and muscles are involved in this body movements. They are choreographed to form a series of exercises. And then comes the Koltari Payat section, wooden weapons. There are many wooden weapons, long canes, short staff, bend ones, otta, a horn-like weapon. When coming to Koltari, there is this Vaitari or the oral commands. First, uh, starting with the long staff, Kattagari, there are 10 series in that, each set to well-balanced Vaitari or oral commands. The third part is known as Angattari Payat, which is all about the sharp weapons. Sharp weapons like a sword and shield, spear, dagger, and flexible sword, Urumi. And it is said that Urumi was once upon a time worn around the waist of a person. So the length is that much. And one will carry it without being noticed by others. So in an emergent situation, he will take off that Urumi and uh, fight with that. Then fourth, the last part comes uh, as Virungai. That is the bare-handed defense center attack. So after learning that and after acquiring the necessary skill and the reflexes for that, he or she should be able to defend any attack from any quarters with any kind of weapons. There is a therapeutic science also attached to the Kalari. That is a medicine. The bone setting is there, the massages are there, and you learn and practice and learn more things and practice. So it is a uh, never-ending process. By the breakup of uh, or the end of Perumal rule, that is around uh, maybe uh, 7th, 9th centuries, there emerged a lot of principalities, small, small kingdoms. And it was at that time they wanted to keep private armies. So the, the, the warriors trained in the respective galleries became the, uh, the soldiers of uh, the respective principalities. Kalari Payat uh, practitioners, experts, as a form of justice, uh, were, went as hired mercenaries also. And uh, Kalari Payat had its golden era at that time. So ever after that, Kalari Payat had a decadence during the Portuguese rule and uh, thereafter during the British rule. Just before 1804, there was a great revolt by the great uh, ruler of Parashi. And it was an armed revolt. And so Kalari Payet, the practice of Kalari Payet was banned by the Britishers. And those who were uh, hoarding uh, weapons of Kalari Payet and who were found practicing weaponry, uh, they, were, um, uh, they were sent to jail. When we gained independence, there was none to, to revive Kalari Payet at that time. And as a sport activity also, for wrestling there is a bout. No, no one is skilled. Professional boxing also, no one is skilled. The skills in Kalari Payet has not been developed or metamorphosed or stylized to form such quality sport items. But uh, 
there is a small revival happening now. To my knowledge, there are more than 100 colleges where daily practice is going on. Because even though it is uh, not a warfare activity now, it is a very good fitness activity and a discipline at large.